All right, Gemini, welcome to your weekly Sidero forecast for June 8th through the 14th. My name is Athen. So this week, lots of opportunities. We've got sex styles on this early part of the week in particular. We have your ruler going station direct and um, Mars conjoining up to the sun here. And a lot of this is happening in your 12th house, which is about behind the scenes activities, rest and relaxation, spiritual enlightenment, making sure that you're getting enough of that tranquil time and spiritual time in your life. And perhaps you've been learning quite a bit about that with that Mercury retrograde, but there's going to be a lot of support coming in this early part of the week. Now, the areas it's coming in, there's a lot. There's a lot of sextiles. So one of the areas here is from uh, your second house, which is where you've had Jupiter and Venus, uh, which is the material side of life. So over the past, probably the past year, you've had a lot of opportunities perhaps to grow the uh, self-reliance, the material side of things, which might include finances and things of that nature. But again, it's opportunities. And then over recently, perhaps enjoying that with uh, Venus going in here to the second. But in either case, these uh, energies are uh, being activated, supporting you to, again, tap into the tranquil side of life, which is what this whole lunar cycle is about. And uh, that Jupiter sextiling up to the sun can be a good um, opportunity to continue to grow in this 12th house area. Now, another area that's being highlighted is from your 10th house of work, career, and everything on that public level, where Uranus is going to be sextiling up to Mars here in that 12th house. So here, there's been perhaps a lot of changes with your work and career uh, over the past, maybe past few years. And But this year in March, perhaps there were some major changes with that also and some liberating feelings about you guys, you know, enjoying your work and being yourself through your career and things like that and making sure your career is aligned with who you truly are. And so anyways, uh, that area, your 10th house is going to be supporting the 12th. So I would certainly be enjoying more of this freedom in work this week. And I think you'll find that uh, quite supportive again for this uh, rest and relaxation. And again, these things of the 12th house are the forefront because of your ruler and this whole lunar cycle being in the 12th house. So make sure you are, again, getting that rest, R&R time, because there's a lot of things shaping up for you in that uh, 12th house. It could be just very spiritual for you guys individually, listening to dream space, going within, all of that kind of reflective stuff. Now, on Wednesday, Mercury will then be sextiling up to Venus. So this is actually quite nice because it's your ruler here on Wednesday. Um, that could be some opportunities maybe with uh, the relationship side of things. It might also be some uh, opportunities with, um, let's see, with... Uh, with your uh, fifth house, with your self-expression, and also perhaps with the routine and things of that nature, with Venus naturally ruling um, your sixth house there. And um, of course, she rules your 12th, so more enjoyment of the spiritual side of things also. It could also be, you know, relationships, I think a good flow of relationships about midweek. Now, also midweek, the sun sextiling up to Uranus. Again, more support coming in through the work uh, for the tra tranquil side of things. And then Mars is going to be squaring up to Chiron. This is the only... Uh, challenging aspect this week coming from the ninth house which is the the, ha the house of life path and of uh, life in and of itself when it's about opening our horizons opening up the um, even spiritual side of things even too. the ninth house being like the philosophy and wisdom that we gain about life in and of itself it's very philosophical so anyways the whole life path stuff um, you know it's been important for you guys to go with the flow there with neptune neptune's going retrograde here on Friday in that ninth house. So perhaps reflecting on where you're headed, the life path, travel, philosophy, spirituality, things of that nature. And um, I would be consciously thinking about this stuff this week because Chiron, the uh, planet, um, you know, the healing asteroid rather, uh, is about learning through healing. You know, Chiron was a healer, but he became a healer through academia, through learning about it, wanting to un uncover it and learn more about the art. So here, learning more and wanting to see and reflecting on the life path and everything about travel and things abroad with that ninth house, um, I think you'll find healing. And again, it will take that conscious energy because it is that square. But I think if you do, I think that'll be uh, certainly uh, helping you gain more motivation about the uh, 12th house matters, which is going to be shaping up for you even more as the week unfolds. Now, Thursday, your ruler goes stationed direct in the 12th. So whatever you did learn over the past few weeks in relation to all of this 12th house activity of tranquility and spirituality can now go direct. And of course, around Thursday, you know, while he's still paused in the sky, it is a time of just kind of 
pausing for a second, reflecting on it for a couple days, you know, Thursday, Friday kind of thing. And then as he starts to gain momentum later on in the week, and then especially next week, a lot of these uh, things you learned will certainly be in flow and supporting uh, the whole environment as things move forward for you. Because naturally with your ruler retrograde, that is a time of your own personal reflection anyways. And um, it's not until he gains his momentum do you start to really come back into full swing again. Thursday and Sunday, uh, the sun is going to be conjoining up to Mars here in this 12th house. So something is motivating you, some sort of spiritual passion or excitement that is shaping up. And this is all the way through Sunday, this whole second part of the week and even into next week. So uh, whatever that is, I think that's uh, a good energy to work with, uh, again, relating to spiritual matters or tranquil matters um, this week. So, um, I would certainly be, uh, focused on that and putting energy into that stuff again. And, and it's, what's interesting about this dynamic is that the 12th house is a house of, um, you know, rest and Mars here is always like, all right, let's, let's do this stuff. You know, he wants to take action. He wants to go forward. So it's about doing that in a spiritual way, which is being present with your actions, being present with your drives and ambitions and almost working with, you know, the chi energy, of the spiritual dynamics of life and all of that. So getting your motivation through rest, getting your motivation through spiritual exercises, things of this nature. And um, and then that is going to be creating a motivation for you. Now, Friday and Saturday over the weekend, Venus will be sextiling up to the North Node. So again, more support over the weekend for you guys to put energy towards home, family, anything relating to this fourth house, which is the flow for you this whole year with the North Node transiting that fourth house, perhaps improving things on those levels and perhaps uncovering some more things about um, your past, your roots, and things relating to that fourth house. So Gemini, this is a general look at the uh, planets in the sky. If you'd like a more personal reading, please get in touch. Hope you guys have a nice week. And if you have any questions, I'm here. Take care. See you next time.